Okay, guys, um, today is Tuesday, uh, February 1st. Um, just wanted to talk to you about um, our element formation project. So uh, we introduced yesterday this idea of how our elements made, and we talked about nucleosynthesis, right, is just a fancy word to say forming the nucleus or nucleus formation. And the way that that takes place is through nuclear fusion, which basically means the same thing. You're taking the nuclei or the nucleus of two different atoms and you're crashing them in together and they stick together and they make a bigger element. Um, and that's how we're going to get our, 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 the different elements that we see on our periodic table. So, um, but this kind of happens in a, in a very specific sequence. Okay. Um, and so, what we have for this project is I have kind of the outline on the slides, and we're going to go through that in a second, and then I have videos, right? And it kind of goes through that same sequence of starting with this Big Bang video, then the normal life cycle of stars, and then this one's about stars, but big stars, okay? Uh, and it kind of touches on that in this video, but we're going to use these videos and the information that I gave you yesterday to, to do our project. Now, all the information to complete the assignment is on these slides. And um, it's really, I feel kind of bad because um, you don't really have to think that much because I give you all the information, okay? Um, so we're going to use this PowerPoint to, to help create our poster, okay? So what are we making? So your goal is, is um, to explain how all matter in the universe got to where it is now. So you're going to show that on a poster. Okay, um, and so you're going to explain the process starting from the Big Bang all the way to where we have the elements now here on Earth. Okay, um, and so what that's going to look like is the overview for each thing um, is, let me move myself out of the way here, um, the Big Bang, right? So we're going to say, okay, this is our starting point, and what do we see form there? Okay, so well, we get the formation of protons and neutrons, and that begins to form our first um, elements, hydrogen and helium, okay? And then we can imagine this is just expanding out into the universe, but there's no stars yet, right? Because um, matter is just beginning to form in, in these forms of neutrons, protons, and then these first initial elements. So we can think, okay, these are our lightest elements. That's where we're starting, okay? Um, and they form these giant clouds out into our in our universe, and those clouds are known as nebulas. And that's just really, this one's kind of a small part of the assignment, um, but a nebula, yeah, it's just this, this big ball of um, hydrogen and helium gas, basically. Uh, and then what starts to happen is those nebulas begin to collapse in on themselves because of gravity. Um, and we begin this nuclear fusion process. So um, stars, whether they're a really big star or a average size star, um, they go through their main sequence. So that's just the normal lifespan of a star. In the majority of their life, they're just taking hydrogen and turning it into helium, okay? Uh, and and that's, that's all they do for most of their life. Um, but when they start to run out of hydrogen, that's when the, the death of the star begins. It's becoming more dense, and it's going to start to pull in on itself, okay? So with normal or average-sized stars, um, we have red giants, okay? And we, we, those red giants begin fusing helium and we start to see things like oxygen and carbon okay um but they don't if it's just an average size star they don't really go any bigger than that okay um if it's a super red giant which is srg um they continue to fuse these heavier elements though and we get elements all the way up to iron so if we kind of imagine this imagine the periodic table reading it like a book very early on big bang we start to see hydrogen and helium and then with the star's life cycle, we're taking hydrogen, turning it into helium. Then as the star dies, then we're starting to move down. We're starting to see those heavier elements all the way over to oxygen. The really big stars keep fusing these big, bigger elements. And we get all the way down to iron, or Fe. Okay. Now, once we get to iron in these, in these super red giants, it's just they're not releasing enough energy to keep, hold, the, hold the star's shape. And they're becoming so dense, they begin to collapse in on themselves. And when they do that, um, that collapse, there's enough heat and pressure to fuse elements that are heavier than iron, okay? Um, and that's where we see this actually take place is when this is collapsing right before a star explodes um, or we have a supernova, right? So that's when we get everything beyond iron is created 
um, during the collapse of a supernova. Okay, and then after the supernova, then we can imagine it's going to all collapse. We create all these really big, heavy elements, and then boom, right? And it shoots out into the um, out into the universe. And now we have our heaviest elements. Well, those heavier elements, again, they because they have mass, they're going to start to come together, and we're going to start to form things like planets or other celestial bodies. Okay, um, so that's the big overview. Now, when we look through this, whoa. Right. Um, when we look through this, this each one tells us kind of what's required for each portion of this poster. OK, so Big Bang, we want to identify that the, the protons and the neutrons are kind of our first thing that we see. And we want to we want to represent those with a picture. OK, um, and then we also want to see that um, we have hydrogen and helium and roughly 75 percent of the, the universe at the time is hydrogen. 25-ish um, percent helium. We want a picture of that. Right. So we're kind of thinking, OK, we're going to see protons, neutrons, or protons, neutrons, and then we're starting to see these elements form. Um, and that's really all we need for this one is the Big Bang. Um, but we want to introduce this term nucleosynthesis, okay? Then protons, neutrons, um, hydrogen, and helium, okay? And so these slides kind of walk you through the rest of what we need to include um, on each portion of the assignment. Okay, so start with this. Um, please email me if you have any questions. We're basically, we're taking this presentation um, and you are drawing and representing that on a poster or paper. If you're at home, um, you can do it in your notebook. Okay, but we're just including all these pieces to show this flow of events on how we finally got the elements here. Okay, all right, let me know if you guys have questions. Bye.